with those dangerously cold temperatures expected for the next 24 hours, a number of schools already closing ahead of tomorrow, including DPS. Yeah, and we've got those closings right there on the bottom of your screen right now. And tonight, we talked to a local superintendent about how they make that call. Jeff Bond checks in with number two with more. Jeff? Monroe County is already under a wind chill warning, meaning the temperatures could get to minus 30 degrees. Here in Monroe County, well, the school district has decided minus 20 will be good enough to cancel classes for the 24,000 students here. No one wants their kindergartner or their first grader st standing outside when it's 20 degrees below zero for any length of time. Uh, it's really a safety issue for our kids. Dr. Stephen McNew has already decided there will be no classes Thursday. As I talked to the superintendent, the wind chill advisory for Monroe County was upgraded for colder wind chills. The weather for some reason changes down here. We're so close to the lake. During our interview, the district started canceling classes. You know, I got 18 text messages in the last, what, 30 minutes. Monroe has 10 districts, each canceling classes for the first snow day of this year. Monroe, as do many schools, have a plan to contact parents. Dr. McNew says they rely on email, text messages, and phone calls to let students know. The district also notifies radio and TV stations and puts the closings on the schools and district's website. Sam Suttles has a high schooler at Monroe. Like most high school students, they don't normally dress well enough for this weather. Last year, Monroe Intermediate Schools canceled classes 19 times, due mostly to snow. No snow days so far this year. Tomorrow's closure, the first of 2015. Not for snow, but treacherous Arctic wind chills. It's pretty hazardous. I wouldn't want them out there in this. Well, school closings here in Monroe County mean not only is school closed, but extracurricular activities have been canceled as well, meaning field trips and athletic events. From Monroe County, Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News.